Hi, my name is Alan and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to install and write basic scripts for rsync running on a Windows platform. Now to get rsync going what you need are three executable files. These files can be obtained from Tevix site www itefix.no you'll need cop ssh rsync server and rsync client cop ssh handles uh, the tunnel the ssh tunnel while rsync is the actual delta backup um, software high definition version of this video together with all scripts and checklists can be downloaded either from my personal website www.alanbonici.com or from a blog I share with a few friends called www.backupmyhost.com Consider this to be a working document and if you have any suggestions, corrections and answers to certain questions which are at the moment unanswered in this document please do not hesitate to contact me I would be more than happy to produce a, a revised version of this document to reflect uh, valid suggestions. In front of us you see the main screen which if you look at the lower uh, right hand corner is the host is called rsync server and on this I'm installing cop ssh. I'm accepting everything as default mm next 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 basically and after this program finishes I should have a service called OpenSSH SSHD now after installation the service will be running I need to stop it in order to install rsync if not um, during the rsync installation I will get errors if you look at your screen in the middle of the left hand side there is a scrolling checklist this will basically describe the steps you need to perform to get rsync working on your server having installed cop ssh i now go on to install rsync itself i'm accepting defaults and uh, basically next 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 until the installation finishes everything has gone okay Now, this installer has set up a service called rsync server. That uh, service will be in charge of transferring or performing the Delta backups. By default, this service is set to manual. I'm going to set it to automatic so that every time I start my server, which mm, unless you may not have noticed this Windows 2003 um, and it starts automatically both cop ssh and rsync server have config files which control what must be done normally if you're changing anything in the config file you should stop the service and then restart it after in sshd config I'm setting strict modes to no while in the rsync.d config I'm going to define modules by default I have a module called test which points at the moment to a directory called cwork in the land of cygwin all drive all drive paths commence with cyg drive so cyg drive um, slash c slash work would point to the work folder in the C drive 
In my case, I'm setting up two modules called test and test tree. One will point to a Windows folder called test, and the test tree will point to a Windows folder called test tree. Having set my config files, I'm going to start uh, both services. Besides setting the path in, in, of the modules, I'm going to physically create the directories. Now, since I'm effectively going to run three scripts from the client, I have set up three directories, test, test2, and test3. What need to do now is to set up uh, a service account. I'm going to set up a service account. I'm going to call this RSB service. RSync um, will use this um, as a user. I've created that and I'm adding new, my newly created account to the administrators group. Having created my account, I now go into Copy SSH and choose the option Activate a user. I choose the account I just created, supply a passphrase, very important because in this version passphrases may mismatch. I don't know what the effect